What's up, YouTube? Pokeprimer here. Prime and ready to deliver you our week one battle here in the PCR North. Uh, this week we are taking on Scott and his Thriller Bark Trevenants. And. <sighs> Boy, oh man. This is going to be a match and a half. The, I apologize that it's post combat, but this is a match and a half. Uh, I, I, it's only post combat because I originally wasn't planning on recording these matches. Um. PCR was like a league that I added late in the game. Like, all right, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll record it. You know, why not? Can't hurt to record it, right? So, uh, it was added late in the game, but I'm so glad that I did because this this match is is too good to not show off. This match is too fantastic to not show off to the people. Minim minimal to no hacks. Great plays on both sides. Just a well-played, close, top-tier Pokemon battle. Just, you'll understand as we get into it. So, um, you're a sophomore team builder. We brought our Mega Lopunny, Mew, um, well, the Ninetales, Registeel, Swampert, and uh, Crustle. Uh, as you can see, uh, Scott decided to bring his Amoongus, Primarina, Metagross, uh, Mega Absol, uh, Zeraora and the Tornadus Therian. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into this game. We're going to switch sides. He's going to lead with his Primarina as I'm going to lead with my Lopunny. I'm just going to Mega Evolve right away and I'm going to go for the Fake Out as he goes into his Amoongus and reveals that he is indeed Rocky Helmet. So, this, I know now, is his guaranteed designated Lopunny switching. This is what he switches into Lopunny every single time for the whole game. So, if I want Lopunny to put in work, gotta kill Amoongus. Got it. Good to know. So I fire off Thunder Wave. I'm literally firing off Thunder Wave for the simple purpose of I want to um, not just not slow this thing down per se because that's not really a relevant strat. Uh, I want this thing to just... I, I was literally Thunder Waving it for the hacks purposes. Not gonna lie. I wanted... Um, I just wanted the chance to maybe have an extra turn against this thing. Or get free switches into this thing with the free full paras. Like, I, I... Literally, that was the entire purpose of that play. And I'm not even ashamed of it. Uh, that was my best play at that point. Because I knew I didn't want anything asleep besides low punny. Because I really... Like, low punny, I'm just going to bring in every now and then. Click a move and try to break free. Um, or pr try to wake up every now and then. Just try to force something out. Uh, that's just kind of the plan here. So I'm going to get Spored uh, for free. Which kind of sucks. So I'm going to stay in, try to spend a sleep turn. He's going to get a Giga Drain off, and then I'm going to switch out into Mew. Uh, he's going to get a crit on that Giga Drain, which kind of sucks, but not a huge big deal. Like, we're still in a good position. I'm going to go for a knockoff as he goes into his Zeraora. So he's E-Belt. So he's going to actually spend my Culverberry now, which really sucks because I really wanted that Culverberry for Mega Absol. Uh, so we're going to lose our Culverberry, but we're going to get the Roost up. He's going to Volt Switch out. And he's going to go into the Absol now, which really sucks. So he's, he gets a free switch into Absol. He's going to go for a Pursuit here. So he gets a Crit Pursuit, mind you, which sucks. So I'm going to get a Drain Punch off, and I'm going to be able to knock him down real low. And I go for the Roost as he goes for the Sucker Punch. So right away, uh, we already outplayed this Mega Absol, and now we're in a position where Sucker Punch cannot kill us. Pursuit definitely cannot kill this Mew, unless I switch. And that's even iffy because a crit pursuit wouldn't kill, wouldn't have killed us. It would have been a roll to kill us. So if we switched, so that's crazy to think about. So we basically one v one to beat this Metagross down, or this Absol down. He goes into his Metagross here. He doesn't want to lose his Absol this early. Understandable. We're gonna knock off this Metagross and we're gonna get rid of its leftovers. So that's cool. He's gonna toxic the Mew, which is smart because that uh, smart one to have toxic on. Uh, for Mew, so that he doesn't get the Toxic right back on him. So that was smart. Uh, so I'm going to go for another knockoff. Get a crit on this one, which is fine. Uh, it balances everything out a little bit. He's going to be able to get his rocks up. Uh, I'm going to switch now into my Swampert. As he's actually going to double into his Primer. He's going to bounce out of his Primarina. He goes for the Hyper Voice here. Uh, turns out that he was Specs, I believe. So I, I'm AV, so I was able to just fire off my Sludge Wave for free. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam after I hit this thing with the Sludge Wave, and I'm going to eat that Giga Drain, which is nice. Uh, I just needed to keep this thing whittled down. Uh, I'm going to go for a Scald here, though, trying to get a Fish for a Burn, and I do get it on this Primarina Switch, which is nice. 
a little bit of chip damage is cool. Uh, I'm going to let my Swampert go down to the Permarina. So now I can go freely into my uh, Lonely Ninetales and pop this thing with a freeze dry real quick. Uh, not have to worry about it. And he's going to go hard into his Metagross. Obviously, he's going to have Bullet Punch. He's going to have to go for that right away. Uh, but I'm going to go into my Dr. Giro, who is, in fact, also Shookaberry. So I can take an Earthquake from this thing if I have to. I go for the counter. I do reveal that, which kind of sucks. But I did what I got to do. Uh, you fire off my Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for Foul Play, which does nothing. Uh, so now I got my Rocks up and I got the Hail up, which is going to really help. Uh, Iron Head to the Rocky Helmet kind of sucks. He goes for the Sludge Bomb. So he's basically hoping that I just go for Iron Head and Rocky Helmet beat myself down, uh, which I think is what he's going for here. I'm going to go for Earthquake this turn, though. Uh, get a little bit more chip damage on him. Uh, trying to get him to reveal if he has Synthesis or something like that. He's going to go for Foul Play. Uh, he's going to go into the Tornadus here on my Earthquake, which is totally fine. Uh, he's going to U-turn out, though, on this turn, which is totally fine as well. And I'm going to end up hitting this Amoongus with a crit Iron Head and uh, dying to the Rocky Helmet. So now this Amoongus, though, however, is down super low, which is really nice. Uh, so he's going to go out into his uh, Tornadus. Because I'm actually going to reveal the Blizzard now. So maybe he was eevee that he could actually live a freeze dry uh that's my that might be why he went to that or he was just trying to sack it off but uh with the blizzard i was actually able to knock out the torn which is super huge uh in this game because uh definitely huge uh to get rid of that monster early uh so now we have that going for us so now he goes into his metagross and he's going to lose a decent he's going to lose a little bit of hp here uh he's going to bullet punch into my mew and he's going to lose a little bit more from the hail, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, I'm actually going to roost on this turn, uh, so I am now out of range of being messed up too badly by this Absol, which is great. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch as I go for roost again. I'm literally just chipping him down with hail, and uh, he's going to pursue me as I'm not going to switch out here. I'm going to roost again as he's going to not die to hail because bullshit. Uh, he's going to Sucker Punch, it's not going to kill me, and I'm going to be able to get a Drain Punch off and finish him off. So, I'm going to die to Toxic, so that kill goes to Metagross, but uh, I'm going to be able to uh, get rid of his Mega Absol, which is great. Uh, so, I'm actually going to wake up this turn and get the Fake Out off on this Zero Aura, which is absolutely huge. Uh, so, I'm going to switch back out now. I'm going to sack off my Alolan Ninetales to get the Hail up, because getting the Hail up is going to be very important for this endgame, because Metagross dies to Hail, um, Zero Aura dies to hail after rocks um chili's gonna go for a return here i think it was a roll to kill him which really sucks that it didn't uh especially because now that uh Moongus is gonna live uh i have to go straight for the kill with the x scissor i probably should have gone for rock slide in hindsight so i didn't get rocky helmeted but that's fine he's gonna go into his metagross go for a bullet punch doesn't do all that much to me again i probably should have not done that i'm gonna get my um shell smash up and i'm thinking all right maybe i win here uh, maybe depending on whatever speed he runs maybe i get lucky here but turns out that he ran just enough speed to outspeed mega low punny and if i had run jolly versus adamant i would have won this game however uh volt switch he's gonna pop off uh Yeah, um, that was a great game, though. Uh, like, it sucks that I lost that. Uh, like, it, literally, I just changed to Jolly, because really, Jolly wouldn't have been much of a huge difference, uh, except for the speed would have been potentially useful. But uh, legitimately, It's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not mad that I lost. No, I'm I'm happy because this was the most competitive, most hard fought draft league battle I've ever played. And to point the, put it into perspective, if this turn had finished out, like if they had finished this turn out, Zara drops to the hail. So this would have been a zero. This potentially had a chance to be a zero zero game, which is absolutely mental. And fantastic to think about.
So, great game, Scott. Amazing game, Scott. That was one of the best games I've ever played. Thank you for that. Um, hopefully, we will bounce back in the future weeks. Um, but, yeah, until then, uh, I'm Poke Primer, and I'm signing off. Peace.